What's up guys? So today I'm going to uh, do some unboxing of my Ryobi uh, 18 volt uh, straight finish nailer. It's a 16 gauge nailer. Got this from Home Depot. I think it was like 150 bucks, something like that. I got this because there you have another one, but it's an only uh, an 18 gauge. Um, and I figured I'd get, I don't really do too much nailing, so I figured I'd go with the 16. It's just a little more versatile. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So it just came in this fucking box like this. It's not, it didn't come in like a nice packaged kit or anything. Um, here we got battery charger. Oh, I didn't realize it came with a battery. Um, it's a little uh, 1.5 amp hour battery, so nothing special. Some actual meat and potatoes. Just kidding. Uh, we have the manual. You know, manual for the battery charger, manual for the nailer itself, and, you know, warranty info and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll look through that later. And then we have the actual nail gun. Um, it's a little heavy. Uh, like I said, I don't nail too much stuff, so I don't really know if this is, you know, heavier compared to an air tool or not, but... Um, yeah, this is it, so probably do a little bit of a demo, um, for the features and, uh, got a little project I'm working on that I'm planning on using this with, so we can test it on that. Not a big, like, Ryobi tool guy, but this was the cheapest, uh, cordless nail gun that I could find and uh, I don't have many Ryobi tools but I do have uh, a couple batteries so I figure you know it's the cheapest one I don't use it often might as well make use of uh, my batteries as well so it's compatible with 16 gauge nails obviously um, that are three-fourths of an inch in length to two and a half inches in length. So let's, uh, let's try her out. All right, so this is just gonna be a quick little demo. Um, got my nail gun, got a ba freshly charged battery that it actually came with um, in the kit that I bought. I uh, got a scrap piece of wood. And I'm just gonna drive a few nails. I'm not gonna do anything special. Um, just gonna kind of show you guys how it all works. So I've got three quarter inch uh, piece of aspen. So it's pretty soft wood and I've got a pack of uh, nails. It's just a little variety pack of nails. So uh, probably just gonna do the one and a quarter inch nails here. So yeah, so basically you just kind of slide this guy uh, there's a sort of lock button right here, um, if you can see it. But I'm just going to basically pull this guy down, make sure this thing locks in place. And then I'm going to place the nails in uh, through the back. I'm just going to feed them in. Like so. let the nails fall so once the nails are in there I'm gonna flip that switch back down um, and then let it slide and it's basically pushing up against these nails uh, so it should drive them so I have my depth gauge or not gauge but my depth switch uh, so I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle um, and then there's the amount of air. This is the air switch right here. Um, so I'm just going to try it at its lowest. 
and I'll probably try it at its highest as well to see. Uh, that's what the manual recommends, is basically just make your adjustments on here, and then if you really have to, then you can adjust the, the gauge drive. Like this is the, uh, the coarse tuning knob, and this is the fine tuning knob right there. So um, yeah, that should be it. Um, here's a little jam release switch. You basically pull it down and then you can pull out a nail if it's jammed right here. So um, hopefully won't need that. Okay, so let me get in a battery and throw my safety goggles on and get going. So I've got uh, two three quarter inch long pieces uh, I'm just gonna nail these guys together. So again, this is at the lowest setting. Um, let's actually set the drive depth. Uh, oops, a little bit less. So okay, and again, these are one and a quarter inch screws. So this is at the lowest setting uh, for drive depth. Drive depth, and it's at the lowest setting for air. So. Let's, let's nail this guy down. Okay. So that worked. That got right through. Uh, let's see how far it drove it. Okay. So it drove it all the way through, uh, even past the top. So that's at the lowest setting. So yeah, I guess this is pretty soft wood. So it's to be expected, I guess. Um, for funsies, well, I'm gonna leave it at the lowest drive depth, and then I'm just gonna uh, bump it up to the highest setting. See how far this goes. So that didn't go that much further, but um, yeah, it's definitely solid. So I'm going to turn that down because I don't need it to go that far. Um, yeah, so no gun works. Let's uh, see how many nails I can do in a row. I'm just going to do like 10 and see if it um, fucks up. I think that was like 9 or 10, but yeah, it drove all those pretty far. Um, this thing's fucking solid, so yeah. Um, obviously, like the bigger nails are going to have a harder time getting through, but like I said, this is pretty soft wood. Um, but yeah, no jams whatsoever. So that's it. Uh, just a short little demo. Um, this is the first nail gun I've ever had, and so it seems to work pretty well. Um, you know, I mostly just work with plywood or uh, other softer woods, you know. I might do oak at some point. Um, but as far as I can tell, uh, this thing has plenty of power and this is just on the 1.5 amp power battery. So, you know, I think with most woods, it should be fine. Again, this only is capable of doing up to two and a half inch long nails. Um, but yeah, I think for the hobbyist and just like standard, just average DIY guy, this gun will probably be more than enough. Um, we'll see how reliable it is and how long it lasts, but I don't really use nail guns very often, so we'll see. But anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.